you have an older gray rimmed active board, you might need to do an update on your firmware in order to get Active Arena working on it. If you'll notice, I'm on a Mac and on the top right corner I've got the Active Manager. In the bottom right corner of a PC you'll find the same Active Manager. If it has a red X, it means you're not connected to the board and you must be connected to the board in order to do an update. If you'll see here, it says Active Board version 3.66. I'm going to need to update this board and the easiest way to update the Active Board is actually two different ways. I will need to do an upgrade to 3.76 first and I've already logged into Promethean Planet. You'll need to go to the website, select support and then the knowledge base, okay, which is already done. And then you'll notice you have to come down here to this very bottom right corner where it says visit the Promethean knowledge base. It's kind of hidden. Select Americas in English and then you can actually type in your keyword search to do a to do a lookup for our, how to fix anything actually so this is a great resource in order to find a PDF of any particular thing you want to look for. Once you have gotten the website up you type in 3.76 upgrade and select search and you can see it's the first option right here you can go ahead and download with the first one that pops up and if I scroll down a little bit, there's a blue word that says download this file form right here. And it's going to download right to my desktop because that's where I have it saved to go on my Mac. Um, if you're on a Mac, you need to be, make sure and check for uh, your download folder. And if you're on a PC, you're going to tell it where to go. Now if you'll see, I've got the US firmware update right here. Next thing I need to do is come up to the control manager, active manager and go to the control panel, click on my active board, select upgrade, and I'm going to tell it to load a file. And now I have to find the file on my desktop where I just put it. And here it is, it's labeled US firmware, proactive 3 underscore 76, and I'm going to select open. Then I go ahead and hit upgrade. It says, do you want to change the firmware? And I say yes. You'll see the uh, blue bar running across. It's saying restarting. When it's finished here, it's going to ask me to unplug the power to the board and then replug the power back in. Go ahead and unplug the power to the board. Plug it back in. You will hear the board do the beeps and then go ahead and select yes. It says the upgrade was successful. Say OK. Now if we go ahead and hit close, um, you will notice the board will show up here in just a second and all of a sudden now my firmware it says 3.76 so the upgrade was successful. To then move from 3.76 to 3.98 firmware in order to use dual user pen, you will need to put in your Active Arena resource DVD. Then find the folder labeled English US. Select Active Board. And then choose the appropriate size, which my assumption will be that you've got a 78 inch gray rimmed Active Board. That's most common. And you can see right here we've got the, the file that we're needing. So this is the file we're going to be putting into the next load. If we go to control panel and we're going to do an upgrade on the active board, select load. And this time we have to go out to our Active Arena DVD, English US. Active board, and then find the correct size, and then there's our file. Hit open, and then go ahead and select upgrade. Yes, we want to change the firmware. Remember, I must be connected to the active board in order to do this. Once the upgrade has finished, go ahead and unplug the power to your board. 
plug it back in, you will hear the beep on the active board turning itself back on. Select yes. And now it says the upgrade was successful and we're done. We can now use dual user pen on our active board.